So what's going on guys and welcome back to another rebuild challenge today here on the channel today the 100 trade difficulty rebuild challenge did this one back in 2k21 or excuse me 2k20 and you guys seem to love it last summer it was definitely one of the bangers of the summer and today we're back to do it again so it's a relatively simple concept if you do not know what trade difficulty is basically it's in the settings you can turn it up you can turn it down and it basically just makes your trades either way harder or way easier the generic one the automated one is at 50 that's what i have it on for all my videos today we are going to be putting it on a hundred and doing a rebuild via fantasy draft in trying to win a championship. So I don't exactly remember how this went when I did this one last summer. All I know is that all the comments were saying, hey man, love this video. Please do this again at some point in time. And today we're back to do it again here in 2K21. And I'm super pumped about that one. So before we get into this one, if you guys are new around here and want to subscribe to the channel, man, I hope you guys definitely would be considering it man we love having new people join this community man and it's been a great ride so far this summer and as always you guys got any other video ideas feel free to leave them down below in the comment section so uh, also quick side note if you're if you watched yesterday's video and then are back today watching this video you probably realize hey numb nuts you have the same clothes on yes i'm recording both of these videos on friday just because i'm gone for the entire weekend so that being said not that any of you care about my personal life but we're gonna get into this one i'll see you guys in the video in the past couple weeks a lot of you guys have been saying when you do a fantasy draft rebuild of any style go ahead and let the cpu draft the entire team for you so i am going to go ahead and do that kind of add a little another you know challenging aspect today to this video so uh we end up with the wizards again the team doesn't really matter we're going to send the draft. I'll see you guys with the squad. So a pretty interesting team the CPU ended up drafting for me. Carl Anthony Towns, DeMontis Sabonis, Kemba Walker, OG and OBV to Zubots. And it's interesting, man. Um, unfortunately, yesterday's video, I had both Dennis Schroeder and OG and Anobi, so I don't know if I want to have them both and Juan Hernan Gomez, honestly, at a point. So I don't know if I want them in back-to-back -back videos, but uh, you know, we'll kind of cross the road when we get there. Also, I will go ahead and show you guys we are officially on 100 sim difficulty trade negotiation difficulty. Not 100 sim difficulty, 100 trade negotiation difficulty. And yeah, man, it's um, it's definitely going to be hard. So today, yeah, I don't really think I'm going to change any other settings. I think I'm probably going to leave it. I mean, I could do, you know, down the lines, I could do like the ultimate, you know, rebuild challenge, turn this one up as well, turn this one up as well, just everything. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comment section. So you saw the team. We're definitely going to make some trades before we do start seven year number one. So I'll see you guys at that first move. So it has been a long time since I have gotten John Wall in any of my videos. Obviously, his overall is a lot lower than it used to be. His contract is very, very high. And yeah, so it's been a minute. We're going to go ahead and pick him up today, man. I want to go ahead and give him a shot here. You know, ultimately, if it doesn't work out, I'll move on from him. So I guess technically we're going to see John Wall back in a Wizards uniform. Pretty cool to see. But again, he's probably not a long-term answer here for us, man. So he's definitely going to be starting here for us in year number one, obviously on a $40 million plus dollar a year contract. I also think John Wall could low-key kind of go, you know, not go back to his, you know, usual self. But I think he can definitely be better than he has been in the past. Hopefully, if he does stay healthy. So, uh, that being said, I really kind of think I might have one or two more moves in the mix. I do want, I do not mind having Terrence Ross start. I would eventually like to maybe come off the bench. Josh Jackson, I believe, is a free agent. No, he's actually is another. Wow. I actually might include Thomas Sadoransky in a deal with Josh Jackson because I'm, I'm actually kind of fine with the rest of this lineup here for at least year number one. So, uh, you know, if I do Thomas Sadoransky here, wherever the hell he is, and Josh Jackson, maybe get a different, you know, backup or starting shooting guard. I mean, again, we got to look at our offers, and oh boy. Ugh, not really loving these offers that we have so far, man. So, yeah, as, as you know, I'm, per, I'm sure a lot of you are aware, trades are not going to be fun, easy, whatever you want to call it. So I guess we're going to leave this rotation here for year number one. I will see you guys with the rotation. Year number one here in DC for us, man. It is going to be interesting. I do not know ultimately how this team is going to do, but I do think we definitely can be in the playoffs at least. John Wall, Terrence Ross, OG Ananobi, DeMontis Sabonis, and Carl Anthony Towns, kind of the two bright spots of this team, is definitely our front court. Bench unit, Dennis Schroeder, Evita Zubats, Kenyon Martin Jr., Juan Hernan Gomez, and Josh Jackson. The bench definitely could be worse. I, I I will definitely go ahead and say that right now. So, um, you know, we will see what ends up happening with this team. I definitely don't think we're championship material right now, but ultimately, I mean, that is the goal at some point in time. So uh, definitely going to hopefully be a pretty good video today via free agency because, you know, trades are definitely going to be hard to come by. So that being said, I have absolutely no idea how this team is going to end up doing ultimately, and I will see you guys at the end of year number one. I believe we ended with a record of 42 and 40. I didn't 100% see it. So yeah, if, you know, mediocrity had a name. It's right fucking here. So six seed here in the Eastern Conference. Ultimately, could have been worse. Luka Doncic, your MVP, Lamelo, Rookie of the Year, Mason Blatt, Giannis Antetokounmpo, still ends up in Milwaukee, doing the Player of the Year, RJ Barrett, Most Improved, Brad Stevens, Coach of the Year. Yep, 42 and 40, just what I thought, and a six seed. Player stats in the year: Towns, John Wall, honestly not bad. Maybe boosting that trade value a little bit. Demontis Sabonis, Dennis Schroeder, Ross, Zubat, OG Ananobi, the rest. Of it, you can just take a look. Rebounds went to Sabonis, and assists was John Wall. So that being said, we have the Toronto Raptors here in round number one: Jamal Murray, Bruce Brown, Eric. Alec Burks, Anthony Davis, and Yusuf Nurkic. I have no idea how they got all three of those guys on the same team, but they somehow did. And wow, what an upset. We do end up winning here in round number one. Moving on to the Knicks, White, 
White, LeBron James, Isaac, and Christian Wood. Okay, well, I'm sure LeBron's just going to kind of take over and do his thing here. As we do lose in six, and honestly, the Cinderella run kind of comes to an end, man. I did not think we'd get here anyways. Luka Doncic and the Minnesota Timberwolves win the finals. Luka's numbers right there. The dude is just absolutely insane. So, league meeting time. Now we can kind of hopefully make some things work. Eliminate no thank you, and no thank you, and we are good there. Draft lottery time. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I forgot to turn off previously traded picks, and I was on such a streak of doing it, too. My bad. I screwed that one up. I forgot about it. Kings, Rockets, and at New Orleans Pelicans. Staff signing time. Scott Brooks, no, we are not even the head coach of this team anymore. Tony Brown, no thank you. Uh, Robert Pack, no thank you. We're smoking that Robert Pack, and now we need a new trainer here. And, of course, there's no eight trainers today because why would there be? Head coach, um, honestly, my guy Jacob Underwood, perfectly fine with me, and we should be good there. Uh, I will now get another sister and coach here. And no, Ryan Williams. Eh. Any better assistant? Are there any former players? That's actually a thing that I've seen from time to time. Uh, not at the time being. So um, we will just sign. Let's see. Who do I want here? Just B minus, B minus. Uh, I'll sign Dion Blount. Blunt, whatever the hell you want to call it. So now heading up to the NBA draft. I didn't quite catch if we even had our first round pick. Honestly, if we don't, because it's it's because I forgot. Oh, never mind. No, we do. All right, pick 17. Uh, we will see what we ultimately want to do with that trade, or ultimately want to do with that pick. Maybe a trade. We will see. Um, you know, we're definitely gonna have to, you know, try to try hard to probably move on from this John Wall contract at some point in time. So uh, that being said, I'll leave this to you guys with the trader in the draft. So I don't want to move up too much in this draft. The Chicago Bulls do have the eighth overall pick. We're gonna go ahead and try to give up our 17th overall pick, Jerome Robinson, who I did not know was making almost 12 million dollars a year, and our second round pick this year for that number eight overall pick. They don't want to do it. How about if I just include a couple more second round picks? Again, we're on 100 sim difficulty here, so. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, um, there could be somebody else here I wouldn't mind including. Maybe, honestly, even Josh Jackson. Uh, and they do agree to that. So, we now have the eighth overall pick. It's not exactly one of those top five studs. So, kind of, you know, di diversifying who we end up drafting. Oh, my God. What? Huh? This game is broken. This game is legitimately broken. I mean, I'm not going to be an idiot. But, like, come on. Come on, 2K. I mean, seriously? Welcome to the team, Cade. Thomas Sederance is going to come back. Hope Fane's going to get a first round pick for him. Qualifying offers, we have none. And now it is time to move on from John Wall because we just stole Cade Cunningham from the entire NBA. So, by God almighty, it is time to make some trades, man. I will see you guys whatever our first move is. I moved John Wall to the shooting guard spot. His overall goes up two overalls. And I have no idea why the Charlotte Hornets want to do this and give me two unprotected future first round picks. But they do. I'll see you guys with the next move. Terrence Ross in a second round pick heading to Atlanta for a future unprotected first round pick. I believe that was actually via Portland. Santa Rancy is going to be the final guy. And we actually might have a little bit of salary cap space here for free agency. I'm not 100% positive on that one. But, okay, we have 23 million bucks right now. Honestly, it could be worse. Like, if I move on from a couple of these guys here, if I move on from Hernan Gomez and Zubots, I honestly have a max spot. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'll hopefully get a first round pick for both of these guys. It's not like either of them are that bad. I just think if I have a max spot, I might as well go ahead and use it here today, man, because today is definitely a video where we do want to go ahead and use our salary cap space because, again, the trades are not going to be 100% what they normally are. So, final first-round pick. We are honestly getting blessed with some first-round picks right now, and I might do something dumb and try to sign Kawhi Leonard, who has a four-year, $166 million offer. How much is that per year, man? That Oh, he was definitely on the Spurs before, wasn't he? 166 divided by four is $41.5 million a year, and I can't even touch that. So I doubt he's going to come here. Yeah, it kind of is what it is, though. Um, would I be willing to maybe move on from OG Ananobi for that? Let's see our starting five right now. Cunningham, we don't have a shooting guard. Ananobi, Sabonis, and Towns. So honestly, if I can get a cheap shooting guard for Ananobi and then maybe go out and sign Kawhi, I would definitely do it. But that being said, I have to find that cheap shooting guard first. Fortunately, I did just reload on a lot of first round picks, so it actually could be possible here. Uh, I'm not seeing anybody straight up in the trade finding out that I was really expecting to see much here. So let's see if we can find ourselves a pretty good trade. So I'm going to see if the Houston Rockets want to bless me and maybe give me Emmanuel quickly, who is only making $2 million a year. Yes, he had a pretty solid season last year and would be our starting shooting guard next to Cade Cunningham. So they don't want to take that. I have a shit ton of first round picks right now. Um, and they agreed to that with just two first round picks. So beautiful. So we have our backcourt figured out. Wait, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I just do? Okay. Can I get Kawhi? That is the max that lets me give him player option and a no trade clause. And son of a bitch, we just did it all for nothing. Oh, brother, brother, brother. Okay. Um, 
I'm just trying to figure out who's a free agent next year. Because do I want to save this cap space for free agency next year? Honestly, none of these guys are. So we might honestly have this slot again next year. So what I actually could do is maybe sign DeRozan to a one-year deal. I'd actually be willing to pay him like a lot of money, but it would only be for one season. And give him 38 million bucks a year. And yeah, that's probably what we're going to do, man. Just because we can probably use some of this money in next year's free agency. It really... Never mind. Kawhi signed with us, and I think we can officially move on. We have a $44 million trade exception. I didn't realize. Kawhi Leonard, welcome to Washington. I legitimately did not think that was going to happen. It has been 100% a long time since I've signed Kawhi. And now we kind of got to work on this bench a little bit. Maybe Duncan Robinson off the bench. Beautiful. Maybe Dennis Schroeder can come back. Beautiful. I did not think that would happen. And now I believe I do need a backup center, and we can basically call this an offseason. This team is looking a whole lot better than what I thought it was going to, if I'm being 100% honest with you. So uh, I'm actually going to probably just roll with Hernan Gomez. Um, I could maybe do a trade, but I have a lot of first-round picks, and ultimately I do think one of these picks at least probably will hit in some way, shape, or form. And the best news about it is we have, let's see, one, two, three. We have two picks in 2023, and we have three unprotected picks next year. And they are, like as I mentioned, all unprotected, which like you never really know what's going to happen. So... This is the team moving forward, honestly, a lot better than I thought we were going to be. And I will see you guys at the start of year number two. Year number two for us here in our nation's capital. And this team is looking way better than I thought it was going to be, if we're being honest. I'm surprised Kawhi actually ended up accepting our offer, but I'm never going to question it. So, Cade Cunningham, Emmanuel Quickly, Kawhi Leonard, DeMontis Sabonis, and Carl Anthony Towns. I'll show you how dumb 2K is. 2K wanted not only that they want Dennis Schroeder to start over Cade Cunningham, they wanted to play Cade Cunningham 14 minutes a game, which would have in turn made him our ninth man on this team. Basically the last guy in the rotation. Keep doing you, 2K. Best game out there. <laughs> Bench unit. Dennis Schroeder, Kenyon Martin Jr., Duncan Robinson, and Billy Hernan Gomez. That is definitely something we can maybe hopefully kind of rely on. Again, I don't, I'm not 100% certain on it, but I miss the days of, like, Marcin Gortat being in Washington, man. He was a menace to society. Like, I remember when the Wizards played the Celtics back in, like, 2016 playoffs. Uh, sadly, it was the year Isaiah Thomas' his sister passed. But um, Marcin Gortat was just an absolute menace to society, and I hated playing against him. But... Uh, just good memory for me. All right, I will see you guys at the end of year number two. This team was sick. We're a one seed here in the Eastern Conference. Number one in the power ranking. Steph wins his first MVP since 2016, his third overall. Kid Cunningham does win Rookie of the Year. Friendly reminder, he fell to pick eight for us here. I have no idea. I have actually never seen him fall lower than, like, number four, which is even crazy still. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, sixth man of the year. I don't think I've ever seen that. Jonathan Isaac, his 23rd straight defense player of the year. Anthony Edwards, oh, my God, definitely took that next step. Definitely earned that most of the player award. Steven Stiles, coach of the year. Oh, wow. He's not our head coach. So I guess he's always oh, Houston's head coach. Okay. We got Boston here in the first round. We take a look at their team real quickly right after we look at some numbers. Kawhi Ledison scoring. That was Carl Anthony Towns. Cade, Emmanuel Quickly, Schroeder. Samantha Sabonis. Wow, I'm surprised Sabonis' numbers were that down. Like, how do you not score more points per game than Dennis Schroeder? Seriously, dude. Kenny L. Martin Jr., Billy Hernan Gomez, Duncan Robinson, and then Marvin Williams got a few minutes. Rebounds went to Sabonis and assists was Cade. So, as I mentioned, we got my Celtics here in the first round. Damian Lillard on the Celtics. Definitely going to be happening in real life. Evan Fournier, Mikel Bridges, Pascal Siakam, and Steven Adams. Okay. Not a bad team right there. Um, but I'm hopefully we can beat them. We do on, end up winning in six. D'Lo, Bembry, Warren, Jason Tatum, and Xavier Tillman, the team there for the Indiana Pacers. We sweep them, and now we got Detroit. Lonzo, Paul George, Michael Porter Jr., Kyle Anderson, and Anyeka Okongwu. Okay. Interesting. We went in six and moving on to the Warriors. Murray, Beal, Barrett, Larry Marketing, and Derek Favors. Holy shit. Okay. Can we get it done? No. Fucking way. I had Bradley Beal in my Kings rebuild yesterday. I didn't get a championship with him, even though our team had Jason Tatum, Bradley Beal. Who else was on that goddamn team? De'Aaron Fox, Evan Mobley, Tyrese Halliburton. Nope, we got eliminated in the first round with that starting five. If you didn't see that one, sorry, but thanks, 2K. League meeting times, as always, we're just going to go ahead and reject all of these. Draft lottery time. Did any of these picks hit? I saw the Wizards logo quite a bit. We're projected 9, 7, and 12 right now. Let's see what we end up with. Uh, we end up with 7, we end up with 9, and we end up with 12. So exactly where I thought we were going to be. Uh, we're still keeping Jacob under, but he's definitely not leaving. I want an A trainer, so Sean Navarro, welcome here. And new head scout and Eldon Stewart, and we can call that one a day. So let's head up to the NBA draft right now. As I mentioned, we do have three, I believe, first-round picks. Yes, we do, 7, 9, and 12. So, um, you know, we could maybe look to make some upgrades to this team. Ultimately, I don't really know what sort of upgrades we would make. I mean, we do have these picks, so I could just go ahead and maybe include in the, maybe the bench a little bit. But uh, I'll probably select at least one player in this draft, but I don't think I'm going to be taking three. So I'll see you guys whatever move I do make. So honestly, man, I have the giant-ass trade exception. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Hernan Gomez... 
Two of our first round picks this year for Kevin Love and Joe Harris. A couple of nice veterans to be off the bench. And yeah, for those of you who say, hey, numb nuts, you never use your trade exceptions. There you go. Congratulations. So I don't know if Harris is going to be here long term. Ultimately, Kevin Love's going to back up some bonus. Maybe just a little bit of an upgrade over Kenyon Martin Jr., who I definitely still think is going to be solid for us. I just think Kevin Love is Kevin Love. So. Okay, we are now probably going to go ahead and try to find a new backup center. Um, we can pr Actually, no, I'm going to draft somebody at pick number six. That's the pick I ended up keeping. Uh, I do not know this draft class at all, so I'm probably going to take best prospect on the board. Jalen Duran's here. Beautiful. We need a backup center anyways. Welcome to the squad. We're actually building a pretty good team here in Washington. He's going to be 77 overall for us. We are going to go ahead, Emmanuel, quickly. Kenny Martin Jr. are going to be coming back. Qualifying offers, Keelan Martin, Kadeem Allen. No, thank you, Kadeem Allen. Celtics legend, by the way. I know I say that every single time. But uh, do we have no free agents? Did I really time that or plan this out that well? Wow. I did not think I did nearly that good of a job. Okay, that being said, I will see you guys with whatever trade is next. So if you couldn't figure it out, I'm trying to upgrade my shooting guard. No, this is not the trade I'm making. I'm just showing you guys the offers that I'm getting currently with 100 trade difficulty. This is absolutely criminal, some of these offers. So yeah, I'm looking to improve my shooting guard spot. And now I will see you guys with a trade. So I'm going to try to get Clay Thompson. It has been a minute since I've gotten Clay Thompson. I'm sure a lot of you know that his numbers tend to go down. His overall tends to go down. Um, I have no idea if this is even going to go through. I'll give you two first round picks if you want it. And they do agree to that. So Clay Thompson, welcome to the team. Um, you know, putting a tremendous shooter next to Kawhi Leonard and Kate Cunningham in our backcourt as, you know, they're both solid shooters anyway. So uh, I really do like how this team's looking. I do think we need, do need to figure out a new backup shooting guard. Um... Oh, brother. All right, I'm going to do something cheesy. I'm going to sign Tristan Thompson just because I can, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move him to power forward, and then I'm going to trade him with a couple picks. And this team, God bless that trade exception we got. Man, I did not think that we were going to go ahead and be able to use that to any, you know, anything that was actually going to improve this team significantly. But I'm putting, you know, everything out there, man. I'm going to go ahead and trade all of our assets because I do think this team's definitely in a position right now to hopefully go out and win a championship. So give me a shooting guard, please. Seriously, 2K? I mean, are, are we serious right now? Like, what? I'm not taking Javon Carter on this team. Like, I'm not moving Reggie Jack. Like, seriously? Okay, let me now sign somebody else. Let me sign Reggie Bull. Actually, no. Let me sign Dwayne Debman as well. Let's see if we can get any sort of better offers. Like, look, I get the traders are going to be. I get the trades are going to be harder to make, but they should at least be offering me like a shooting guard who's somewhat competent. Like. How about this? Do I get any other offers for any other shooting guards? Tyrese Maxey's only six foot two, but I definitely, honestly, probably will end up moving him there. Uh, Monty Moore's six one, right? No, he's six two as well. All right, we're taking Tyrese Maxey. I'm just going to get a first round pick for Alex Len, and I will now see you guys at the start of year number two with this squad. So this is what happens when I record videos back to back. I tend to forget what year it is every single time, and it is year number three, not year number two. So. This is it, man. I think this team can definitely do something special here in Washington in the final season. Cade Cunningham, Clay Thompson, Kawhi Leonard, DeMontis Sabonis, and Carl Anthony Towns. Our bench unit, Tyrese Maxey, Kevin Love, Dennis Schroeder, Jan Jalen Duran. Not Jaron Duran. He's a Red Sox prospect who just got called up. Okay, we're in a good spot right now, man. This team better win a championship for us. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. So Trey Young's putting up Bill Russell numbers in the points department and almost averages 40 points a game, three boards, and 10.5 and assists as we are finally a one seed here in the Eastern Conference. Victor Wimbanyama, Rookie of the Year, Jaden Hardy, sixth man. Jonathan Isaac, even Player of the Year, Killian Hayes, most improved Jacob Underwood, Coach of the Year, as we go 57-25. and 25. I don't know how this team doesn't win 60-plus games, man. It's kind of just how things work out for me, but you can take a look at some numbers here real quick. Honestly, not that bad. We're playing Kevin Love, you know, $35 million a year to basically be a bench warmer. It's crazy, but that's where trade exceptions come into play. Darius Garland, Kevin Herter, the walking lesbian, Zion Williamson, and Jared Allen, the starting five there for Charlotte. Good, nice young team, but we sweep them. Moving on to Indiana, D'Lo, Bruce Brown, TJ Warren, Jason Tatum, and Xavier Tillman. I don't believe they had TJ Warren last year. We went in six. Now we got Cleveland, who has MVP Steph Curry, Halliburton, Cam Reddish, Isaiah Stewart, and Wendell Carter Jr. God damn it. We went in six, and the Lakers in the finals. Miles McBride, Grayson, what? There's just no way this team's beating us. Yes, you have Kevin... Okay, holy shit. Like, there's no way that should have been that close, right? Like, I'm not tripping the fact that that should not have been that close, correct? Look at this team. Look at this team. Are you serious? I don't know, man. But uh, nonetheless, the 100 trade challenge, 100 trade difficulty challenge, whatever you want to call it, is officially completed. We officially won a championship. And I had a fun time doing this one. So um, if you guys want to see some of the same videos that I did last summer, just let me know down below in the comment section. Yeah, you know, I did the massive rebuild last summer. Where I put myself in 2K as a rookie. Kind of went ahead and won a championship with myself. So uh, if you guys want to see that one, it could be a fun idea. Uh, I'd be happy to do it if you guys want to see that long one along with any other ones that I did last summer. So if you want to scroll back and look at the videos I did last summer, I actually enjoyed a lot of them. So uh, as always, always, you guys do 
you any, have any other video ideas you have off the top of your head, feel free to let me know down below in the comments section. Um, I hope you all had a great weekend so far. It is Sunday today, unfortunately, um, that you're seeing this. It's Friday when I'm recording it. But uh, that pretty much wraps this one up. As always, you guys new around here want to sub to the channel, man. I definitely would appreciate it. We definitely enjoy having you down here in this community. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys. I'll see you guys all in the next one.